Yeah, this Ben's is... back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. And Amy like... to the rescue. Um, okay. Uh, 2020 Prism, Draft Football, Box 30. Good luck to Dustin, Manuel, and Jeff O'Hara. Yeah, Jeff is there. He's waiting. Six on the random. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Jeff, the last pack. Donald said that could make a nice wedding ring, but it'll only be a start on a wedding ring. What what will make a nice wedding ring? Your your uh, stimulus check here. <laughs> a nice wedding ring. I I get it. No, <laughs> not not here. Um, a good down payment on one. Sh sure, a down payment on one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, they always say it's like three months' salary or something. I mean, I've been there, done that. So, I'm good. What? <laughs> You've been around the block once? No, 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 I've been engaged. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I've been engaged before. Well, that's not around the block. Around the block's like I've been married. Then she made his hair. <laughs> and all over. Well, I was and close. Not. I was close <laughs> yeah. to being married. <laughs> um, all right, Dustin Colley, we're going to start off with you, buddy. James, what's up, Nick? What's going on? James, that's three years salary? God. Months. Goodbye. Three years? Three years salary? Oh. No. Was no that way. like a three carat time? Three months, three months. The three months sounds more, I'm going to go five. I mean, I heard there's Groupons. I mean, I could just play. <laughs> just get one of the gumball machines. Just one of those. Is there are those, those wedding blow pop rings. I mean, if there is, I'm definitely doing it. Like Groupon. <laughs> somewhere out in that vast audience, someone has to have an in with a jeweler somewhere to help you out if that's what you want. Oh, I have contacts. I worked in the jeweler district in Los Angeles. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I used to uh, design uh, wedding bands and engagement rings on 3D. Um, yeah. And then uh, the company I was working for would produce the wax, and then the wax get molded depending on the metal they want. And then we had the polisher, and then we had the diamond setter, and we did the whole thing, like everything. Did you design them, or did you just did you do some of the design? Uh, so at first, I was a designer. I designed the actual concepts they wanted because it was all customized rings. Um, so if they wanted like certain. I don't know, it's like design on the band or a certain type of head for the diamond. Um, I would do it, and then we'll print out the wax. It's like it's all green. The wax is all green, and then we send that to the um, uh, the metal the, the caster. See, I know more about you now. So you, you, we've learned something. Oh yeah, I learned basically that you can get a beautiful ring for like a quarter of the price that you get it from Zales or Jared. <laughs> Yeah, because I know what they're actually worth, and it's not as much. <clears throat> he was claiming he was engaged he like 10 chat. times. No, I, I want to know the exact number on that stand, because now you have me curious. <laughs> Dustin, so you got went to Julio Jones, <laughs> George Sorry. Kittle, Jerry Rice. Ooh, very nice. How about this one? Dustin. Patrick Mahomes, Crusade insert. Oh. Prism. Uh, Super Bowl champion. 37 of 49. Nice. Very nice. Here's your Prism rookie, Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert. So how, like, how updated are you on the new draft uh, picks here, Lou? Not at all. Not much? Not at all, no. Okay. Well, I'm too fell draft. <laughs> I got Justin Herbert, who uh, is going to be up there in quarterbacks. Yep. Top 10 pick. Top 10 pick. 9 of 75 from Orm. He comes to autograph. Every pack has an autograph, Lou. Okay. So it's a hot product. Uh, Joshua Kelly from UCLA. There's the. It looks like he's just put JK. Just kidding. Yep. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> As initials and just kidding. Yeah. 
He put some thought into that autograph. He's, he's oh. been designing that for some time. Lou, uh, you can learn about this from me. Like, I have a huge pet peeve on lazy signatures. Like, these athletes, some of them literally have put no effort into it. And it just kills me. It kills me. That would not be a lazy signature, right? There's some thought. This one? No, he put some thought. It's like a little loop going through the letter. Like, yep. you know, it's not bad. Michael Pittman Jr., base rookie, and Jake Breland, base rookie. Well, I got some Oregon Ducks in the chat. That was pack one. That was for Dustin Cauley. On card or sticker auto? Uh, this autograph is on the sticker. It's on the sticker. <clears throat> that was Pack one. Pack two. Doug's putting himself out there. Doug, yeah, thanks, Doug. You're welcome. <laughs> While you guys will get a second, I'm curious how many times you have been a best man or a usher at friend's wedding. Like in the broader party or a best man? I'd like both counts, best man and uh, or usher. Oh yeah, I've been I've been in a broader party once. Let's see who the best man is in our audience today. How many times have you been best man? Yeah, I've not been a best man. Though. You have not been a best man. No, my best friend he's he loves being single, <laughs> <laughs> so I oh, probably so, won't get that. So you're over O. Oh, over O. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel Jones, Marlon Mack, Travis hey, Kelsey. How are you doing? Speaking of Travis Kelsey, um, I have a checkerboard prism, two of ninety nine of Travis Kelsey. Dan Older has been a best man four times. Four times, that's crazy. That's a lot of drinking. Travis Kelsey, <laughs> sixty two of ninety nine for Dustin. Silver prism. You have Steven Montez, rookie. Kevin, what's a groomsman? Yeah. What's the difference between a groomsman and an usher? Is there a difference? I just thought groomsman was like the main word. I, I don't know. Here's your autograph. Kendrick Rogers. Ryan two times. <laughs> yeah, that counts, Derek. You're in. Rookie auto. See? Is he right there, though? You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I see what you're talking about. That's, that's just... Uh, uh. Dan's follow-up is his batting average on being best man is 250. Only one of the four couples is still there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Grinsman. Yeah, Grinsman. Jack Moss, base rookie. And... Nice. Steven Montez, basically. See, we're learning stuff about Stan Orr, too. He says he was an Elvis at weddings, like, ten times. Nice. Uh, times, was it? Yeah, everything's going so fast here. <laughs> Derek, you, Derek's been a groom twice. That's what I call a slow learner. I'm not going back again. Pack three, coming up. It's a very slow learn. Groomsman is part of the broader party, just not the best one. Okay. That's what I was. I was a groomsman. Oh, again. No. An usher. Those are the same thing, right? I never heard usher. I, I don't know. I, you never heard usher? No, not for a bar party. Uh -uh. No. Garner Minshew. Ezekiel Elliott. Tom Brady. Look at this. Lou, there you go. Mm -hmm. There's Tom Brady with that Michigan uniform. Very nice. Tom Brady. Just for Lou, I sleeved it up. Otherwise, I would have just thrown him back. <laughs> Who we got here? Kyler Murray. Nice. Franchise. All Americans. Kyler Murray. Rookie of the year last year. See, Ben straightened it out for us. He said, technically, an usher is the person who seats the guests. The groomsmen are the guys who stand with the groom. But usually, the groomsmen act as ushers. So, hence my confusion. Gotcha. Yeah. 117 of 249 on that Kyler Murray. Were a lot of people upset that he won Rookie of the Year over no. someone else? 
Or did they think he was legitimate? Like Murray? He was, legit. he was legitimate. Yeah, right? Yeah. Jared Pinckney. That is your silver prism. 72 of 149. Because your autograph, Kyle Duggar. Duggar. Kyle Duggar. Oh. <laughs> See, this is hard for me, Luke. Check out this autograph. Oh, uh, yeah, see? And it's going to be on a football card. Uh, autograph. Like, I would say that's lazy, but he actually put four letters in there. So you have to give it, give him some credit. <laughs> no, no, you know, no. You could just put KD if you wanted to, but he put some, like, some sort of symbols. I don't think, I don't think, yeah, I don't think those are letters. They're just symbols. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's not some seven-year-old's autograph at... No, outside the stadium. That's going to be a football card. Yeah. I mean, come on. It kind of like, like oh, a barely on a spell my name. <laughs> Antonio Gandy, golden base rookie. And Eno Benjamin, base rookie. That is pack three for Dustin. <laughs> these comments. Da Vinci Code. <laughs> oh, my goodness. These comments are great. Uh, chicken scratch. Yeah, I, I would say that's chicken scratch. That's that qualifies. Pack four. Pack four. I'd like to see his transcript. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what are those four letters? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Jim. When will wedding start up again? That's a good question. Probably we'll see wedding. I was supposed to go to a wedding in May, but that got canceled. So. Yeah. Michael Thomas, DJ Moore, Christian McCaffrey. I think a couple out, out there have already said it, but has anyone officiated a wedding? Been the person who married the couple? Oh, yeah, Mr. Charles Gilliatt. Charles G. did. Yeah. Yeah, Cortland Sutton. Prison. That is 224 of 299. Zach Moss. That's your silver prison. Rookie. Nicholas Zeke Elliott had his mother sign for him sometimes. Oh. Did she? That's cool. Here is your autograph, Tony Jones Jr. from Notre Dame. See, not bad. That's a nice autograph. There you go. It's not bad. So Dan's been best man four times. His wife does weddings, so they're very wedding oriented. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I could, if I would let myself, I could get back into rooting for Notre Dame again. I think I rooted for Notre Dame when I was younger. Yeah. I like the Irishman logo. Like, he's like... Yep. Yeah, that's what I liked. Fighting Irish. Yeah. T. Higgins and Christian Fulton, base rookies. For Manuel. My dad officiated over 60 weddings. Wow. That says he officiated one in the Dominican. What kind of, uh, what would you call it? What nation would you have? What what role did you have that allowed you to pick somebody? Were you a minister or one of those uh, online ministry things or justice of the peace? Chef, what's going on? Missing Fantasy Baseball Show, Lou. Yeah. What about it? Uh, Grant Dubois, he's missing. He misses the fantasy baseball show you have? Oh, no. We have it. We're doing it every week now. Okay, there you go, Grant. Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. on uh, Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio. There you go, buddy. Baker Mayfield. They don't have producers in the studio, so we have to pre record them and they put them in automation, which is a royal pain in the ass. <laughs> Here's T. Higgins, 232 of 249. This is for Jeff O'Hara. Tim, you want me to be best man at your next wedding? I'm in. <laughs> Here comes your autograph, Jeff. Think about it, Tim. It'd be me, J5, Sam, who's S10, right? Yep. Yeah, Doug. Dougie Fresh. Yo. Yep. Dougie Fresh, M80. And Emily, M80. Yeah. Yep. We'll, we'll be a party. Yeah. 
Justin Jefferson. Look, look at that signature, Lou. I look good in the tux. That's a good autograph yeah. right there. Very neat. Very nice. Put some effort into that. That's for Jeff O'Hara from LSU. Justin Jefferson. You a big college football guy? Me? Not yep. at all. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, Jerry Judy. Nice. He'll be a top 10 pick. He's a top 10 wide receiver. Top 5, man. Jerry Judy. And Jeff Okuda. Another one. Another one. No, these are beautiful base rookie cards, Jeff. Jeff Okuda from D. Ohio State. Yes, Logan Ward just showed up. About time, Logan. That was pack five for Jeff O'Hara. Here you guys, that's 2020 Prison Draft Football Box 30 in the books. 